there. Thanks for coming back today. I've got a little surprise for us. We're going to start by building with blocks. So if you have some at home, grab them, and we'll have a little creative time before we begin our lesson. my triangular prism look together. I feel like I just built a small city. <laughs> I wish that I could be at your house and see what you built today, but we'll get started with our lesson and then I encourage you to spend some more time building with your blocks a little later. So today we are going to review the mental math process, but let's talk a little bit about why we should learn mental math in the first place. You know, a lot of the time when you're working with math, if you're able to move the numbers around in your head, make some number a little easier to work with, it helps to have a better understanding over all of the math that you're doing. So we'll review some today and um, I wanna start pretty simple. You can see that I have um, built on right on my tens frame here. What number do I have of little stickers of faces? I have eight. And what number do you think I want to add to eight? Some of you got it. I'm going to add five to eight. But before I put my stickers on, I want you to visualize how many more stickers will I need to make 10 because we're working with our tens frame. And can you visualize how many will be on this side after I put however many are needed for the 10? That's what we want to talk about today. Here we go. One, two, three, so we've got 10 here, four, and five. When you were visualizing, could you see that we needed two more to make our 10 and that we would have three more on this side? And this helps us see that eight plus five is equal to 10 plus three, and that gives us 13. So. We can think about it like this. If we're always looking for the make 10 combination, let's make a number bond out of five, prepping to make eight plus two into a 10. And that gives us three here. And so we can think about that eight. We had eight, we added two more that gave us 10. And then we had our three here. Well, as we move up into higher numbers, we still use the same kinds of strategies. So let's see what's next. How about continuing to work with the eight plus five idea since we've got that down, but we'll put three tens in front of the eight. Now, in your mind, you might already remember eight plus five equals 13. You can hold that and then add three tens to that. But if you can't remember that, we can go back to our idea of making a friendly number. So 38 is really close to 40. Let's work with that. How many more do I need from my five? I've got my number bond of two, three, and five. Now here I can say 38 plus two gives me 40, and I have three more for 43. Let's do another one. How about 59 plus eight? Now, many of you might just be able to think of the 59 as 60, which means you got one from the eight, but some of us need to show it. So if I wanna make the 59 the friendly number of 60, I can show it by making the number bond with one, seven, and eight. Now we have 67, and that's a pretty um, manageable way to work with those numbers. Let's try a few more. So far, we've worked with a two-digit number and a one-digit number, but now let's work with two two-digit numbers, and I'll show you a different strategy that we can use. Let's try 46 plus 27. Now, in this case, I really like to use the strategy where we recognize that we want to work 
with this number, let's work with our tens first. So let's work with the two tens. So we can say 46 and use this little arrow plus two tens, or we can call that 20. So 46 plus 20 gives us 66. Now let's add our seven ones. Now again, you might need to think about the fact that seven plus six, well, that's like saying six plus six and one more. We love our doubles, six plus six is 12, one more is 13. So you can hold that in your mind and then 13 plus our 60 will give us 73. Good job. Shall we do just one more together? 32, we're going to add the tens from this number, and it's just one 10. 32 plus 10. I like it when you call it out for me. There we go, 42. Now we have to add our nine ones. Nine is really close to 10. So if we said 42 plus 10, we would get 52. But we added one too many, so we'll take one away, and that gives us 51. We can also think about the fact that nine plus two equals 11. And that can just help us see that we should have our one in our ones column. Okay, let me show one more way to think about it. We can also just use the number bond strategy. If I look at 35 plus 49, which number does it make most sense to you to work with to find a uh, friendlier number? Some of you are going to want to add 5 to 35 to make 40, and some of you want to just add 1 to 49 to make 50. Let's try that one together. If I want to add 1 to the 49, I get it from the 35, and I recognize the number bond leaves me with 34 on this side. So we can say, 50 plus 34. That equals 84. I hope you like this method because for me it really helps me make sense of the numbers I'm working with. I want to show you one other thing that may show up in your work. We can, in practice, start to think about something like this. Do you see in this way, I've separated out my tens here, and I'm asking you to think about the ones. How many ones will we have? I heard you say there would be five ones. So it's true that 42 plus three is equal to 40 plus five, which I know you know in your head is 45. Let's look at one more like that. Now this time, how about I leave this blank so you can think about what I just told you. And here, I'll put the number two. What is happening? So up here, I asked you to think about the tens first. But here, we have three tens. If we work a little bit with our eight and our four, we know that this equals 12. So that's got another 10, so 38 and, or 30 and one more 10 gives me 40. And then we've got our two. So let me show you what just happened there. We thought of eight plus four equaling 12. This is the two that ended up in the ones column. And we're putting together this 10 with our three tens. And that way we've put all of our numbers together and we can see now that 38 plus four is equal to 40 plus two. Wow, mental math can be challenging, but you are up to challenging things. It's kind of like a puzzle and I think puzzles are fun. So I'm gonna go back to building and I hope that you will too. And I'll see you here next time.